Hello all, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how we can deploy Python Flask application on Google Cloud. So whenever we are seeing on Google Cloud, there are multiple available options on Google Cloud where we can deploy our Python Flask application and we are going to explore few of them. Okay. So for this video, let me show you what are the available options we have in Google Cloud. So we can deploy our Python Flask application on Google Cloud compute engine that is a VM virtual machine in Google Cloud then we can deploy our application on app engine which is uh, we can say we don't need to manage any kind of infrastructure here you just need to worry about your code and you can deploy your application on app engine then we have again if your application is too complex with multiple microservices you can use Google Google Kubernetes engine and if your application is form of the container you can deploy it on a Google Cloud run. So these are the four options we have available in Google Cloud when we need to deploy our Flask application or any application on Google Cloud. For this video, we are going to deploy our Python Flask application on Google Compute Engine. Okay, so this video is completely focusing on how we can deploy our Python Flask application on Google Compute Engine. So let me go to the cloud console now and start creating our virtual machine first and then we can deploy our Python Flask application on a Google Compute Engine. So let me go to the cloud console now. I am on my Google Cloud console now. So to deploy application on Google Cloud Compute Engine, first we need a virtual machine in a Google Cloud. So let me create one virtual machine here. So I will go to Compute Engine page. And from here, I will create a simple virtual machine. So click on create instance. And the name I will give Flask app. Okay. Uh, the everything else I will keep as it is. So the central one region I will keep the E2 medium. So this is 4 GB RAM, this is sufficient for our demo. So I will keep as it is. Only thing I will change in the network. So let me check what is the network. So if you want to create your own network, you can create else use the default network. So I will be using the default network here. So here you can change the networks. Currently I have only default network in my project. So I will use a default network. So use default network and simply create. So this will create virtual machine in default network. So it will take around 1 to 2 minutes to create your virtual machine or faster than that. So I will connect to the virtual machine once it is created meanwhile i'll just go to chat gpt and ask for a code so i am not developing code here because main purpose of this video is how to deploy python flask application on google compute engine or a google virtual machine so i'll be just taking the simple sample code from the chat gpt so i'll just ask help me to create simple python flask i will just add interactive so we can get html as well interactive python flask application and it will give us a code okay so it given us one html page index.html and it also given us one page so what this is doing this is just taking our name hello so this is taking our name from the front end and once we submitted our name it will print hello and whatever the name we submitted so suppose i submitted vishal it will just print hello vishal so that is the simple interactive python flask application we are going to create here so let's first go to virtual machine and try to log in so remember i created virtual machine with external ip because we are creating the web application so we'll be accessing it using the external ip so here i'll be doing ssh here i am logging into the virtual machine so to log in you need one firewall rule to allow traffic on port 22 so i already have firewall rule in a default network if you don't have you have to create firewall rule i'll show you the firewall rule as well meanwhile so just go to your default network go to firewall and there should be one rule allow ssh so you have to create your rule so this is not there by default you have to create for logging into the virtual machine so i created this rule which will allow traffic on port 22 okay so i allow traffic from all the ip on port 22 so let me just see if i am logged in so without firewall rule you cannot log in into this virtual machine which we created so you have to create firewall rule 
okay now i am logged in into my virtual machine just let me update packages it will just update the default library packages let me check the python version available so there is one trick when you are working with a google cloud virtual machine so if i do python version it will show bash command not found but if i do python 3 version so it will show python 3.9 so python 3 command will work instead of python but if you want to use python not python 3 then you can just create alias python is equal to python 3 okay now try python version okay and it will work so now python is also available let me check if we have uh, if we need to install uh, pip and we need to install python flask so let me check if we have pip install flask so it will say pip not found so we have to install pip as well okay so i am installing the pip it will ask for yes or no prompt yes and it will take around one minute it will take some time at the last line so just wait for there do not terminate the session so it will take few seconds at this last line so do not terminate just wait till the completion this is completed now so what i will do now i will create one let me expand this now we have to work in this so i have to create one folder i will create folder for our application and name i will give flask app i will log in into that folder now okay and here i will create couple of files so first file i will create so one thing here instead of vi i will be using nano which is easy to use i'll just do nano app.py which will be our main file and i will be copying code from this app.py which chat gpt gave us i'll just pasting the code control s and i will be changing few things here so here i'll just change host is equal to zero dot zero dot zero dot zero comma port is equal to eight zero eight zero okay and i will remove this debug is equal to two i don't need this here let me save it okay now let me create one more folder inside flask app for our html files so we have to create one templates folder templates and inside templates we will create our index.html so i will do nano index.html so this is our index.html paste the code control s control x okay so we have our code just get back to root directory and here we have to just execute python app.py okay so no module found flask because we haven't installed it pip install flask now it will install flask and then we can try again okay now it is running but one more thing i know it will not work directly because there is no firewall if firewall is there it will work so how to check now go to vm instance and copy this ip now we don't have https certificate so we just have http colon external ip okay just try 8080 okay oh, i missed it http external ip 8080 Okay, so it won't work because we do not have firewall. So this was wrong earlier I typed. So this is now checking. Let me try another tab as well. Okay, so this won't work. So we can wait for the output. Okay, and it is saying took 
too long to respawn it means it is not able to reach to our server this is because there is no firewall to allow traffic on 8080 port so let me go to the network and create firewall rule add firewall rule i will just allow app traffic okay and i will just increase so there should be increase because we are allowing incoming traffic allow all instance because we have only one instance and source should be so we have to allow from complete internet so i will give this range this range is means everyone from the internet can access our application and we want to allow traffic on port 8080 okay so let me save it create this rule and now try to reload it so once rule is in place we can see our application yeah now you can see simple python flask app now if i enter my name vishal and submit it will print hello vishal let's just check here as well if i put my name like raj it will enter hello raj so this is our python flask application we deployed successfully on our compute engine here so that's it for this video we successfully deployed our application on python on a google compute engine using python flask so we'll see you in the next video where we'll try to deploy this application on google app engine so thank you for watching this video